Corporal Caleb Taylor first met his Afghan interpreter in 2011. We've blurred his face to protect his identity and will anonymously refer to him as NB. NB, as soon as he became an interpreter, he knew full well that he had to worry about the safety of his family, not just for, you know, the immediate term while he's working, but for perpetuity. As the Taliban takes control of Afghanistan, 30 year old NB is in hiding with his 24 year old wife and eight month old child. It's the only choice he has since his extended family has already been targeted. His brother in law and his sister were both kidnapped um, by the Taliban, um, and then the sister was let go, but the brother in law was murdered. Um, and they were never able to recover the body. The U.S. Marine veteran has been working diligently for the last year and a half to get NB's SIV, which stands for Special Immigrant Visa. But the approval has never been more urgent than it is now as we approach the August 31st deadline to withdraw U.S. troops. It's terrifying. I'm doing everything I can on my end, and I'm pushing as much information as I can and putting him on as many lists as I can. And following up about his visa and, you know, doing everything I can on my end, but there's ultimately nothing that I can do. The SIV program was created to protect foreign allies who risk their lives helping U.S. troops, but it's been backlogged with tens of thousands of applicants since 2009. NB was most recently working as an engineer, his wife a doctor, but they know a future in Afghanistan, especially with their infant, it's no future at all under the Taliban. MB is an incredible being. You know, he's he's a phenomenal man, um, and we're lucky to have worked with him. You know, he gave us everything he had the entire time we were there at great personal risk. You know, it was a very dangerous area of operations, um, and, you know, he never complained. He always went out on patrol with us, and because of him, we were very effective, and um, I think very successful. And Taylor is calling on everyone he knows to put more pressure on their local representatives to put more resources into the SIV program to effectively bring more people home from Afghanistan. In Manhattan, Michelle Ross, PIX11 News.